I'm like not high right now at all, but I do have a roach and I was drunk as fuck last night. I'm trying to find a matchbox. Okay, there it is. I have a new lighter, but I can't find it for some reason. So I'm going to use matches to light this little roach up. I've just had an idea. I just was on TikTok, of course. It's like 12 and I'm on TikTok. I've been on TikTok since I woke up and I woke up at like 10 o'clock. I was out last night with my girlfriend and we were drunk as fuck at karaoke. Oh my God, I don't think. We were drunk as fuck at karaoke. Damn, this was not even there. Like that was a very, that was a short road. <coughs> Me straight off the dissing it like, <coughs> oh, okay. Um, I just drank water. Uh, I was drunk as fuck at karaoke with my girlfriend, and that's why my voice is like this. Like we were screaming, scream singing most of those songs. Like we sang "Best I Never Had" by Beyonce, of course. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I okay. I don't know. I'm getting all over the place, but I just was on TikTok, and this girl had a near death experience, and essentially she describes what happened to her as she just went to sleep kind of and i mean this is not new information even under anesthesia like getting you know drugged up <laughs> getting drugged up on anesthesia you kind of just like go to sleep and cease to like you don't you have a block you know just you just aren't there anymore you don't continue on the line you kind of just pause and pick up back not necessarily where you started or like where you ended but you pick up back somewhere is what it is like. And people are saying, essentially, the Stoics, when they talk about death, they don't describe an afterlife. They talk about, guys, this is it. This is the best and the worst it's ever going to get. And then when you die, you kind of just cease to exist like nothing happens. We, and we all know nothing points to something, which means it is a description of something and it's nothing you know what i mean yeah like i've just had an idea and i don't know it might be simple like maybe i am over exaggerating how but it did break my break my brain in half kind of i was i am kind of like whoa what the fuck did i just think right now but like it's not that okay me hyping up me like setting you up to yet another philosophical just okay um what yes so we don't know what happens after we die and i'm saying death is the lack of comprehension it's just nothing is happening because so much is happening you know what i mean and then that manifest or like we can describe that as nothingness at least to what we know nothingness to be because i think it might be too far for us to comprehend because it's also kind of traumatic to be met i mean people talk about how when you die your mind protects you from what happens by putting you to sleep or like like you don't remember that period like my mom um tells a story of when she was probably like 13 or something i don't know Kosa people love to like in Kosa township lokshin communities they love to ride at the back of like bakery trucks or whatever they even do it to trains in cape town it's like a thing to you like run 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 get on there and it's kind of like a skateboard but like <laughs> very exaggerated because the train is the skateboard or like the bakery truck is the skateboard in the sense so her and her friends were doing that essentially the truck took a different turn and i do have a theory that the people that drive these trucks get because of course you don't want fucking teenagers like at the back of your truck dude because you're liable for their death like you know they're fucking stupid they're gonna do something fucking dumb and you're gonna run over them by mistake and now you're fucking traumatized for running over a fucking 10 year old these truck drivers try to scare the children by either like going very fast over a sudden or like turning somewhere that children didn't expect because they usually follow like a specific route when they come in to like drop off um bread to the spaza shops they like take a, a certain route but they'll like turn different uh, yeah and then that's what happened in my mom's case and she got so fucking scared because um her mother my grandmother was very strict well is very strict my grandmother is still alive but like she's a different person now and that's why i think i said was because she's not strict now it's very funny how 
grandmothers just have the softest fucking spot for their grandchildren and it's like where was this kindness for your actual child bro but um yeah she was very strict and like she couldn't come home late essentially and here's this truck turning somewhere you didn't expect and you're like where the fuck are we going how am i gonna get home i'm gonna get into trouble um so she gets the brilliant fucking idea to jump while the truck is going full throttle like don't do this please ever don't try this at home or don't try this anywhere <laughs> essentially um i've always found that funny like how they used to trademark like uh videos with people doing these crazy stunts that could injure you they go don't try this at home so it's like it's okay if i try it at school like obviously i wasn't gonna be jumping off of a truck in my living room like i couldn't fit the truck there <laughs> it's like these crazy stunts of someone jumping off of a off of a building and we're like don't try this at like of course they weren't gonna try this at home they don't have a six-story building in their fucking living room um what was yeah so my mother jumps from the truck because she's scared and needs to get back home she jumps off and that's all she remembers like she remembers having the thought to jump off but she doesn't remember physically jumping off of there and apparently um rumors are <laughs> as for the people that were watching through binoculars um they're like oh yeah she jumped off kind of did like a spin thing and fell on a rock and like yeah hit something and it was just too painful I don't remember what exactly happened. Like, I don't know if she had, like, blunt force trauma. I don't think it was a... Th I think her head is fine. She might have broken a bone. I need to check in with her again, just, like... Because I, for I forget how the story goes. But, like, I think she broke her bone. And, you know, when your body is either in shock physically or, like, in terms of emotions and attention, like, someone screams at you or, like, something falls and makes a loud thud and then, like, now you're in shock you like sort of block that out from your memory like you forget even though you might have been conscious of it happening and saw it happen but you'll have like a memory lapse because it was traumatic to you yeah it's the same concept even physically to our body sometimes if you like you won't remember what happened because it was just so painful so i do think like i don't know if that's the case with my mom like if she was in shock as soon as she jumped off of the truck because of like seeing how high she jumped and like what the fuck was about to happen to her she might have blocked it out from there already or like from that or it could be because she fell and broke whatever limb i don't remember how the story goes like i said and like now the lapse is because of the pain that she had endured physically i don't know but she says it kind of she kind of went to sleep like she just not even sleep she just did she wasn't there she like ceased to exist kind of and i think that's very close to dying in fact i do think that it's just dying <laughs> death being shy essentially and that's how we perceive it you know like it could also and this is a far thought like how we physically still have the person like the deceased um body could be our brains since everything is not um unbiased journaling ever you have to interact with something you have to perceive it and you have to understand its concept within the limits of your understanding and perception of the world it then makes it objective i mean sorry subjective than objective it's not objective truth it's truth as far as you know it kind of so get that there oh my god my i kind of have cut mouth now So if, see, I'm proposing, and again, this is what, there's a helicopter just above. It sucks living close to a hospital. It, like, it's like a good thing because then if I ever have an emergency, I can quickly be sent to the ER like five minutes away. But like, it sucks because the awareness of like people are, they're actively fighting for their lives. And that person in that heli helicopter just now is like, you know probably they're past like they're trying to resuscitate them you know it's just it gets really gory and i get scared sometimes especially when i'm alone at night and i hear these helicopters and i'm like oh my god that's so like man you can be in and out of existence just like that and that's so fucking scary like we're here on borrowed time entertain the idea that when someone dies fireworks fucking go off 
like their body just like fire it's like this big energetic explosion where energy concentrate you know what i mean like every single one of us is energy concentrate like imagine just something that you can't like out of this we are the entire universe like, do you understand what I mean? The entire universe's energy exists within us. We interact with it while it... Like, this is another... Our state of being as... Like, life exists on a dimension, on another plane that can interact with this three-dimensional slash fourth-dimensional worlds that we live in. You know what I mean? And that's why sometimes I feel like we feel out of place here because this is not where we're supposed to be. Like, this is not in any way, any... Like, it's not close to who we are. It's so far off. And that's why it's uncomfortable for us, I think, sometimes. And I imagine in those dimensions where, we like, the laws of nature, which we didn't come up with, like, this, this is pure observation. And I say observation in quotation marks again because it's within the limits of what we understand. It's subjective. It's not objective. It's not unbiased journaling. So imagine that plane being its own currency or energy dimension. And the things that happen there seem like nothing to us because we, we don't understand them. Like, it's so unpredictable that it's just, it seems like nothing. It's like most nothing is happening here because everything is just happening. Yeah. And I think it could, like, imagine when we die, our physical bodies go through this super massive just explosion. And that also... Like, you know how we say, fuck, this is so far. You know how we say the stars that we see in our night sky are actually us looking back into time? Imagine if we are stars in the night sky. It's all of us when we were happening from the beginning. Fuck, dude, from the fucking beginning as we're happening right now also. And then sometimes th these inexplicable things happen, like the fucking stars collide. That could have been people falling in love. Like, and then they explode. And it's like, oh my God, it's death. Or, you know, and these black holes that are sucking everything, that's like, yeah. Yeah. So imagine when someone drops dead, that's going to happen in the night sky of people in fucking 7,035. The year 7,035. Your death will be witnessed in their night sky. <laughs> 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 Me after ganja. I need to chill, okay? Let me eat something.